Some folks play rough on Twitter, but this was truly vicious. Singer Chris Brown ripped into a female comedy writer named Jenny Johnson, who has long been needling him for beating up his on and off girlfriend Rihanna. It's much too graphic to repeat here, but involves sexually explicit taunts and excretory functions designed to humiliate her. Brown later deleted the contents of his Twitter account, but he's done that before and come back. Joining us now to talk about this online warfare in New York, Lola Oganaki, a cultural commentator and former reporter for the New York Times. Hi, Lola. Hi. What was your reaction in looking at these X-rated taunts and attacks that Chris Brown unleashed on Jenny Johnson? Well, they're obviously despicable, and I don't understand for the life of me why his handlers allow him to control his own Twitter account. <laughs> the first thing I would tell any publicity or any public figure is that Twitter... Facebook, technology in general, is not your friend. You have handlers for a reason. Let them handle that, not you, Chris Brown. What do you say? This guy's a world-famous uh, singer, and you're saying his people should tell him, back away from the Twitter. Uh, you're back, saying he's oh, <laughs> back away from the Twitter. He's obviously a volatile character. He obviously has a temper. And it's no surprise that when he was pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, he reacted. Now, to be fair, this Jenny Johnson character has been attacking him on Twitter since 2009. I think since 2011, I read somewhere, she's written about him 97 times. Sure, this she is has. a married she's been mother him of two. And prodding him, and she started the feud, but she's not a convicted felon. And did she, well, you know, some people are saying it's her fault that, she, that this abuse was showered on her because she started it. Well, you, he clearly has a track record, and he's not the type of person that's just going to roll over and take it, especially if it's been happening for the better part of three years. And she shouldn't be surprised that when she poked the lion, he bit back. That said, I also think that Miss Jenny Johnson was trying to get her own bit of publicity, and I do think it, I find it a bit hypocritical that a person who is going after Chris Brown for abusing Rihanna then launches her own verbal abuse tirade on Twitter against the person. There's just something that feels a bit disingenuous and off about that. All right, but on the serious side, she has gotten death threats, and she's not whining about being a victim, but uh, she certainly has not been shy about pointing out what he said and, as you say, kind of publicizing it. Here's my Have question. You, did you know who Jenny Johnson was before this? I, I do now. Point taken. Exactly. Here's my question. Uh, given uh, the, the history that Chris Brown has, both in terms of the felony conviction and in terms of uh, other stuff he said on the year, over the years on Twitter, homophobic taunts in one case, how does he have more than 11 million followers? Is this guy a hero to some people? People like his music. <laughs> He's, you know, in this culture, you're always one hit away from a comeback. And Chris Brown has had a phenomenal, phenomenal year musically. And... You don't have to like him as a person. You don't have to like him as a human being. But there's no denying that he has millions of fans who thoroughly enjoy his music and thoroughly enjoy his concerts. So do you think all those millions of fans are there because they like Chris Brown, the performer, and are looking past uh, the, the, the verbal abuse? Or maybe some people are attracted by it because they think it's entertaining. Well, people always like the bad boy. That's, uh, you know, that's part of our history in this culture at large. I mean, James Dean on down. But keep in mind, Howie, Chris Brown is not the first celebrity to be violent. People are acting as if he broke the mold in this whole thing. That's, that's just not the case. And I'm not in any way defending Chris Brown, and I'm not in any way defending physical, verbal, or mental abuse at all. But to be clear, he's not the first person who's done this. I mean, Sharon Osbourne has been very vocal about the fact that Ozzy Osbourne almost choked her to death in 1989 and now they're regarded as this loving british couple and they're dominating the airwaves so you i know, just don't understand why people are right. still vilifying this person rihanna has clearly moved on his fans have clearly moved on why hasn't jenny johnson a mother of two moved on you know it strikes me i was reading a lot of uh, tweets on thanksgiving day after nbc's matt lauer uh, you know was the moderator of the thanksgiving day parade and people were ripping matt lauer because he mispronounced the name of his song I mean, it really has become, I mean, I think Twitter is great. It's the new water cooler. It's the new AP. But it really has become a place where a lot of abuse can get thrown at people who are public figures. It's interesting because, first of all, I don't understand why people had nothing better to do on Thanksgiving than to rip Matt get Lauer. I mean, how bad was the turkey? How bad was the stuffing? <laughs> all you had to do was rip Matt Lauer. This man is a veteran. He's one of the best interviewers in the game. And I didn't watch the parade. I'm sure he did a fantastic job. He always does well. And regardless of the fact, personal attacks, taunts, jibes, they're not necessary. 
people were so below the belt in regards to his performance. And I just think it's just cruel. I think it's this weird mob mentality. And it's very easy for people to diss another person in the comforts of their own home and when they're in relative anonymity. And sometimes but, anonymously through these screen names, they're just about 20 seconds. Uh, Chris Brown deleting the Twitter account. But do you expect he'll be back uh, using that social network to uh, pop um, off again? Of course, of course. He'll probably be back by the end of this week, Howie, to be honest. <laughs> he can't stay away, and his fans don't want him to stay away. He'll be back. Back but by popular I do demand, you're saying? Back by popular demand. But he's got to have his handlers right there verifying every one of these tweets before they go out. I mean, he misspelled ho. Come on. <laughs> I wasn't going to be too polite to point that out. Thank you for noting that. He misspelled. All right, Lowell Ganaki, thanks very much.